Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Blaze Games. Welcome to the Access Show. Today on the Access Show, we've got so much good stuff coming up in the last 24 hours and breaking stuff today. It's looking likely you're going to get a chance to play Fallout 76 even before the October 23rd beta on Xbox One. It's going to be in a stress test, so we'll be taking a look at the information about that one. But we are going to start off with the rumours of Bully 2, Red Dead Redemption trophies, and the fact that PSN, if you don't know already, will allow you to change your name soon. It's all here, let's go, it's the Access Show. So this kind of broke yesterday, but I'm getting around to telling you guys now, PSN is going to finally let you change your name. Xbox has been able to do it for a long time. The first time you get to do it on Xbox, it's for free. After that, you have to pay 800 Microsoft points. So I guess that's done away with, with the points. I guess they just charge 6.99. And I have spoke about this before, but they've not really worked out exactly when it's going to actually happen. It's going to be part of the beta program for the PlayStation preview program, and it's going to be rolled out for everyone in 2019. So no more stupid names involving 20 million X's and 360 no-scopes. You're going to be able to change it and you'll also be able to show your old name alongside your new name so you don't confuse people. And just like Xbox, they're going to be doing the same thing. You're going to be able to change it for free first time, but after that it's going to be $9.99. Or $4.99 for PlayStation Plus members. That's pretty unique. However, it's saying that not every single game will work. Nearly all games after April 1st, 2018, and a large majority of most played PS4 games will have your name changes take effect. But you might notice that if you log into an older game, you might not see your new name, it will be the old one. So expect the beta in this November coming, and likelihood starting next year, you'll be able to finally change your name. I can't wait, because for a long time now on PlayStation, I've been called Epic Jam. Did you know that's originally what my channel was called, Epic Jam? And yes, it does have a 1 instead of an I. I managed to change it on YouTube, but I didn't get a chance to change it on the PlayStation. I'd love to change it to J Plays Games or Jammy Jade. So moving on to Bully. Now, if you don't know what Bully is, it was an open world sandbox RPG style game. Pretty much GTA, but set in a high school. It's over 10 years old, so I say that because not everyone's going to remember it. I swear to God, I'm seeing people that have never played Red Dead Redemption 1. Where have you been all your lives? Get educated. Nevertheless, Bully is immensely popular. It's one of the most popular Rockstar games. I was never into it, to be honest. It came out on the PlayStation 2, and then it got ported over, I do believe, to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. It may have originally been out on the original Xbox as well. You can find it though on mobile devices, I swear I've seen it available. And you can currently buy the old PSN version on the PlayStation 4. So a sequel to the game does seem a bit weird 10 years after the first one. But as there was 7 years between the Red Dead Redemption sequel, it's maybe not that strange. So, Buddy 2 is going to be set in a college or a university by the looks of things. The rumours all come from a very good article stating that a large British video company is needing, or a large video game title I should say, with a UK developer, is needing people to come and appear. In the leaked details from Rockstar Intel it says, Mild violence and profanity will be used in scenes with the young performers. The project itself is a thrilling drama and all scenes with the young performer will be handled with sensitivity. The calls have been made by casting director Jessica Jeffries, be shot in Pinewood Studios in the UK, London, a very popular and large scale studio for very big companies. Some casting calls directly mention staff as college professors, and they've also seen Rockstar staff come into engagement with the listings but won't be sharing with who or how. So, what they mean there is, I do believe they've seen maybe on social media or some parts of a leak that it is people that work for Rockstar taking a look at these casting calls. They're going to be motion capture roles. What makes it interesting is this in the original game, you were running around a high school in a private high school in America. So, my synopsis is this if they're going to be using motion capture, maybe they'll be doing the voices as well. Maybe he's been kicked out of every American school going, and the only option for him is to go to a UK college or university. Now, it's not always the case that if you have motion capture, they do the same voices as well. But it seems a bit of extra effort to go to all that effort to get people to play the role in motion capture and then get other people to do the voice work. Nowadays, lots of games companies and movies directly find the people to do the voice work and the motion capture. Think about Lara Croft in the latest Tomb Raider games. I think her name is Clara or Lara Cluddington, Cluddington, something like that. She does the motion capture and she does the voices for it as well. 
So whatever the weather, Bully 2 does look like it's going to be happening. Maybe not anytime soon. I wouldn't expect to see this for another two or three years. Let me know if you played the original Bully 2. What did you like about that game? So Red Dead Redemption 2 has had the trophy list leaked. If you want to kind of work out what they're going to be viewing as an achievement or a trophy in the game, we'll be able to go for it together. Now there may be some story leaks here, so if you don't want to know about any spoilers, look away. But generally, it's the general sort of thing. There's going to be online achievements on trophies, as well as story ones. There's going to be five chapters of the game, and then obviously the ending as well. Plus an epilogue bonus trophy or part segment of the game. There's going to be a trophy to do with honour. So we know there's an honour system in the game, and you can be despicable or you can be really honourable. So it looks like if you get a certain percentage in honour, you'll be able to complete all the honour missions. Or just while you're playing, the more honour missions you do, the more chance you've got of getting the trophy. So there is a set amount of specific ones. Returning is the gold medal idea from the Red Dead Redemption. It's kind of like the star system ranking how you did in that mission. Completing it quickly, completing it with 100% accuracy gets you better medal. And so it does look like there's over 70 actual story missions judging by the gold medals available. Now there's probably more than that. We don't know for sure whether or not you're going to miss some story missions by taking a certain path. But here you can see it says 70 gold medals. You've got things like complete a companion activity in each camp, play all mini games, recover the stash from four homesteads, discover the fate of Marco Dragic, rob or loot 250, donate 250 to the gang box, spend 5,000 across all shops. The maximum minimum honor level is definitely there. It says reach maximum or minimum. So you're going to be either being a real badass or an absolute saint. Complete 10 stranger mission strands. The strangers are back. They were really unique side quests in the original game. And I was absolutely gutted because some of them were only there for a limited time or for a certain amount of time after completing certain missions. I never got my trophy or my achievement for it back in the day because I missed out on two of the stranger missions. Find the graves of each of your falling companions. Spoilers! People are going to die. We're going to maybe see quite a lot of deaths from your gang. Usual typical stuff, you know, craft certain items, skin every animal in story mode, study every animal across all states in story mode, catch a huge fish, and upgrade each available component for a single sidearm or longarm weapon. This one's pretty interesting though. Survive 18 bear attacks and kill the bear each time in story mode. Reach max bonding level with a horse, so depending on how well you treat your horse, it will get better over time if you spend enough time with it. There is going to be an intro achievement for online play. There's also another achievement here that says take part in a series. Not sure what the series is, maybe it's going to be something like the highest where there's multiple options or multiple parts of it. Accept 10 free roam missions from characters across the world. Five, play 5 free roam events. Achieve MVP three times in a round with at least four players. Own five horses in GTA Online. Reach rank 10, reach rank 50. All pretty standard stuff. So there we go, a little insight into what you might be doing in Red Dead Redemption. Let me know what you think. Are you absolutely hyped for Red Dead Redemption yet? What are you going to be playing it on Xbox or the PS4? So finishing off this access show, taking a look at the stress test for Fallout 76. Fallout 76 beta begins on 23rd of October for Xbox One and followed by PS4 and PC beta on the 30th. But they are going to be doing a stress test this weekend. All you have to do is this. You have to be part of the Xbox Insider program. You also have to have Xbox Live Gold and you have to live in North America. Also, you have to have ordered... Fallout 76 of course and you get a chance to take part in the stress test. So what is the point? Well obviously they need to make sure that people joining the game are going to be able to get on quickly and easily without too many problems with online connectivity. That's what this is primarily going to be doing. It's nothing unheard of, lots of companies do this all the time. However though, progress in this stress test isn't going to be carried over so if you're expecting to get a head start on anyone think again all your progress will be wiped any character progress will be wiped you're not going to be able to stream record or screenshot any of the progress i might try and find a way around that and show you guys some of the footage because honestly it will be gold dust if anyone does leak this type of content but you're not meant to it's meant to be an nda and it's part of the xbox insider program nda stuff you're not meant to show screenshot or preview anything that is in there 
there. It looks like it's only going to be available for a very limited time. It's not going to be all weekend. It might only be for like three or four hours, maybe six hours, starting on Saturday the 13th of October. And I'm guessing it's only going to last for the weekend itself. So if you're on the Xbox Insider program, go to the Xbox Insider app hub check it out and you should see that Fallout 76 might be there for you to download and give it a try. There are some other things you might have to do though, you might need to make sure you've redeemed your token from Bethesda website if you pre-ordered the version of Fallout 76 on your Xbox. So go and check out the actual full facts and questions, I'll leave the link for it down below in the description and let me know, well, I guess you can't let me know, but we'll all soon find out when the beta hits on the 23rd of October, I can't wait. And that is it for the Access Show, taking a real focus on the big games that I'm going to be covering in the next few months. Red Dead Redemption, Fallout, and of course the big news about PSN name changes. Keep up to date with all game news, including later on a video about updates for more indie games and survival games coming out very soon. I am Joe Plays Games. Don't forget to like this video, guys. It really helps me out. And if you want to see me play Red Dead Redemption and Fallout 76, go and follow my Twitch channel where I'll be doing a lot of content on there in the future. I am Joe Plays Games. I'll see you right back to another news video very soon.